to have you with us tonight. Many believe it wasn't a matter of if, but when. And today, Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox making it official. He is running for governor in 2020. He's the first to jump into what could be a crowded race. The race to be Utah's next governor is underway. Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox says he's ready to take the next step. They made the final decision a few weeks ago as a family. We visited every end of the state, but what we loved is our sense of community that we could maybe see elsewhere, and we can see that sense of community around our state. The rural Utah Republican has made a name for himself as a politician who bucks the party above all mentality. I don't need to be governor for the sake of being governor. If I can't sleep at night, if I can't be true to who we are, then uh, then somebody else can do it. He says his focus will be to bring together Utahns to tackle the challenges of the future. Explosive growth, education, transportation, and transitioning to a new economy. Economy. The big one that, that nobody's talking about, though, is the way the economy is changing so rapidly and the disruption that's going to come, displacement that's going to come to workers when automation takes their jobs. Polls have shown Cox is a front runner, and getting in first turns up the pressure. He's at, ahead of the polls. He has a great platform already. People have had a chance to go home as lieutenant governor. Right now, he's in the number one spot. But others are sure to jump in. Prospective candidates include former Governor John Huntsman Jr., former Speaker of the House Greg Hughes, former Utah GOP Chair and Businessman Thomas Wright, Salt Lake County Councilwoman Amy Winder Newton, Provo Businessman Jeff Birmingham, and former Representative Jason Chaffetz. It means no one can call it and no one can take this one for granted. It will be tough to the end. When he first took the job as second in command, he opted to keep the family in Fairview, which means a two-hour commute. Cox says if he becomes governor, they'll be in the capital city during the week and then farming in Fairview on the weekends.